Hello, Velcony. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, my name is Kate, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today, <laughs> I wanna go into Nicole. Genius, that was genius. And so for anyone of our lovely, beautiful, dear friends, actually, if you're watching this, will you send as much love and light as you possibly can to Florida? If you are down there or you can be anywhere, if you imagine the water, like if you're watching the storm come in off the ocean, any storm, and you can go into a meditation for this or you can just do it, but if you go and put yourself in a spot that you're watching the storm come in off the ocean, imagine you're standing there and you're watching it like recede and go back out to the ocean and feel like this warm sun on your face. We can... Um, make a huge difference well as soon as we send love and light anywhere big things happen so let's send it to florida the whole coast and help our friends i f i'll tell you my opinion about it after it is over but i would like to do reading on nicole i'd also like to do a collective a few things so you'll probably see this a lot let's Check out Nicole, see what's going on with her. I'll be so proud. I bet you're right though, that makes the most sense. Because if she and Brian flip, that keeps the cohesive unit. So maybe what people were picking up, remember every, there was a, a month ago or something, people were asking me if they had broken up and I wasn't getting breaking up, broken up at all. It was just like, if she had filed for divorce, it wasn't there, I bet what it was people were picking up was that it's almost a, a I don't want to call it a break I wonder what you're picking up because what I'm getting is it like brought bonded them almost it like brought them closer she's in a bad spot there's nothing about him that's like well perhaps though I just wrote a blog post yesterday about one of my girlfriends was asking me there's with all of the stuff that's been uncovered like can people who have done really really bad things come to the light and the answer is yeah love doesn't judge you judge yourself and God trust me he's like gravity it's like gravity he, it's love and if you walk off the building, you'll fall. So let's um, check in with Miss Nicole. I was just re-watching another one of something and she was like the queen of pentacles that thought this was a horrible idea. Yep, I bet you, well, hold on. Ah, here's her husband, here's Colin, here's a fight, here's sticky fingers, here's the broken heart, there's a contract here. This could be the code of silence contract. I'm just checking to see if you guys can still see. Karen's here. John's here. Oh. Whoa. Her whole family's here. Okay. We have the king, daddy pentacles. I don't know if we ever figured out who that was. Here's Karen. Here's John O'Keefe. Oh, we have to move our little plants. Excuse me, little guy. Okay. Um, John. Here's Benifer. And here's El Diablo, Fat Happy Man, Three's the Crowd. All right. Oh, good. Here's the Hierophant. Good call. That was a great call. Woohoo! Yes. Oh, yeah. Go, Nick. Oh, and here's in all of her naked glory. Of course, she's here. 
<laughs> and yeah, she was. And okay, yeah, this is awesome. Good. That was a great call. So we have. <laughs> Yay. I mean, it's always a good day to see the beds in this case. All right. So, <laughs> for Miss Nicole, the awesome, great, oh, I know someone sent me Nicole's birthday. It doesn't really matter because I set the intention to do it for this one moment. But why don't we start with good news? The good news is, is the Hierophant's here. And Karen's here to protect us, and so is John O'Keefe. The archetype of... Jennifer McCabe. This is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. There are no facts here. Please do your own research. The archetype of Brian Albert. The archetype of Sticky Fingers. Oh no, this is Chubby Fingers. There's, if you are confused about these nicknames, there's nothing complicated about them. There's one morbidly obese man involved in this case. He's a Leo baby and he shows up like every day. And so Chubby Fingers is here. Then, <laughs> well, I think this is her process of walking through the darkness into the light because we have a fight, an unfair fight that Collins archetype showed up at. Our little fool was completely taken off guard. <laughs> there was a three-man pact, probably Nicole, Brian, and um, Jennifer, I'm guessing. Nicole never loved this idea. I remember getting that for her. Here's perhaps Allie. And they broke hearts. This is John's dad has shown us this. Ethan used to show us this because there was spilled blood. I wonder if like she saw the light and was like, we have to go tell the we have to go tell the truth. And Brian was being a little spoiled brat. I wonder if she was the instigator of going to the light. And he was like, no, I'm good. Even though he was staying up at night, really stressed out. He was dealing with a socio or psychopathic archetype. And he was just a fat, happy man. He was okay. I think her struggle came with convincing. I think what happened was she decided to do the right thing and she told him, you can either come with me or not, but I'm going because I, you, we made a deal with the devil and I want to make it right. Judgment day is coming and I'll have to, I'll, I think she's actually very religious. I'm getting this in a very literal. She understood the power of like, I think she felt like she made a deal with the devil and she wanted to make it right before she died. I think that's what it, it came to her conscience, like was her driving force. And she told Brian, you can, and maybe that's what people were picking up that she left him. Maybe she threatened that, like, I'm leaving you. If you don't do this, I'm leaving. That might've been it because she understood that she made a deal with the devil and she knows, I bet she was raised Catholic. I'm getting purgatory. Like she didn't want to spend eternity in hell. She saw this like as very literal. And she was like, the money's not worth it. If I can't leave my house, I'm proud. And you made a deal with the devil. So I'm walking, I'm going right over to the government and I'll make a deal with the government. I'm not gonna play. I bet you that's what it was. I think what people were, I guess we can read Ashley's cards too and I'll do a recap, but I think what happened was she never wanted to do it. She thought it was a horrible idea. That night she was like, I don't want this, I don't want this. And I bet, and there was rumblings that they had gotten a divorce. I bet what happened was she, like her conscience was, she couldn't, she couldn't sleep because she knew it wasn't right. They had made a deal with the devil and she didn't want to die and go to like answer for her 
sins. I, I'm getting this is like very much on a higher level. It wasn't just like, it's almost like atonement. I don't know what that word means, but it's almost like a repentance. Like she understood the long-term effects of this because she, if she was raised Catholic, she was taught hell's a long, hot place. And here's her devil. Her husband was sitting pretty in her psycho, the alleged mm, archetypally psych psycho or sociopathic sister of hers is not helping. The, they're seeing between the lines. People are seeing like what the truth is. I don't think Brian wanted to do it at first. I think that's what people were picking up was that she, she might have threatened to leave him or she just straight up said, I'm going to the feds. So you can either come with me or leave me, but I'm going. Like, I, I wonder if that's where she stood in her power because she was definitely grieving over spilled blood. Like she, it broke her heart that night too. And what broke her heart, I think was seeing how far things would go. Like, I think things were always chaotic. I mean, Brian, but I think that this was very, this for, in this moment is her, this is her broken heart because she lost so much that night too. Like the family that she, it's almost like she didn't know the man she slept next to. She didn't know her sister. It's like she lost everything that she cared about that night too. That's hard. To, that would be hard. And she couldn't look at anyone the same again. She like realized that they, this was a, a setup and a plan, but she wasn't in on the plan. This was like a facade to have this party when it was really just going to be a blood fest because Colin was there and she knows that Colin doesn't fight fair. Why is Chubby Fingers, was Chubby Fingers there? I've asked that before. I don't buy anything that comes out of there. So if anyone else is getting that and here's her husband, she didn't even know. He's asking us to look at Jennifer McCabe. She didn't even, I'm oh, sorry. She doesn't know these people. So this was a really, this would be a hard, this would be like an identity crisis. She's, and here's John, and here's Karen, and here's Josh Levy. <laughs> that, yeah, that was good. That was a really good call. I think what it was was everyone was picking up. She was standing in her power. She was making a decision that wasn't just like, Brian can do whatever he wants anymore. Like, the buck stops here. She was done playing. And so the rumors that were going around, I'm getting like, were her telling him, I'm going to the feds. Or perhaps she had already gone. She's like, just say no. I'm, but she stood, that was a decisive moment for her. She couldn't do the right thing the first round. So she did the right thing because she was taught very Catholic, very traditionally, like when you make decisions like that, let's just, let's just say, there's someone else waiting to meet you at the pearly gates. It's a, and it's eternity. I got that it was a driven by her. It was like a very deep understanding and recognition of what was happening. And if she stayed silent, she would have life. I don't know. Eternity's forever. So I bet that's the energy where that other people were picking up was that she put her foot down and she was like, I'll leave you. I'm not going to do this anymore. I can't. And he was stubborn about it, but that's, I think he came around and I think that, so perhaps more dignity for him. Perhaps it was like, maybe listen to her because she finally stood in her power. And if that's what she had to do, good for her because she's here, she's with the light. And John and Karen are here too. That was a great call. 
I like I like Nicole a lot. I've always really liked doing readings on her. She seems way too smart for that, but I think that's what happened for to her or for her that night. She realized she doesn't know any of these people, and it was really a very shocking night. And the days after, she grieved this like the death of a child, because that's what I'm getting. Is it's almost like a child, like it would be like if a teenager died. That's what it feels like. Like, and I've never felt that, but my best friend died when I was in high school, and that's what I'm getting. Is like the grief was so overwhelming. I wonder if she's okay. If anyone's watching this and they're friends with her, just give her a hug or something. She may need to go to a shrink and get medicine. They have medicine for that. Wow. I'm proud. I'm really proud of her. All right, team, I love you. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you next time. Good, great call, great call. If, you need, if you'd like to book a reading, link is in the bio. And if there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Thank you. Bye.